killing a little girl. Capital murder. Kidnapping a little girl. And then killing her. Now y'all wonder why I preach so hard about demons. How do you answer another child? Or we could say children, because I work around a lot of children who have a lot of questions. You know babies have a lot of questions. But how do you truly answer them when they ask you things like, why would somebody kidnap a little girl from their own home? and turn around and kill them. And they ask you, JT, what's wrong with this world? What's wrong with people? Or how can you rape a 10-year-old, a 7-year-old? These are the questions that I get a lot. Because a lot of children see their parents watching the news. Or one little girl was telling me she just happened to walk in the room and see her mama crying. Mama, why are you crying? Because the mama thought about you as your own child, her own child. If you got a seven-year-old, a ten-year-old to be kidnapped in your own driveway, taken away, and then killed, or just like when everybody um, was emailing me about the school shootings, how many children got killed. And this is why you're going to see more and more people take the law in their own hand. I ain't finna get off in the video talking about guns. Y'all already know my take on that. Y'all know what I believe in. I believe in protecting yourself. And see, a lot of people that, that went against me in that video about guns, many videos I did about guns, but JT, I don't believe in guns. And those same people hit me up now like, JT, I got to get strapped. I got to get licensed because it's coming more close to your own home. And that's why I keep telling people, I don't know which God you serve, but the God I serve is a God of war and I always have been. But that's the side I don't nobody hardly want to talk about. But not to uh, rant about that in this video, but I pray hard um, for the children. So hard, day and night, during the day. Um, and, and, and I know a lot of children don't understand this spiritual battle because they're young. But they got questions on top of questions on top of questions. But I just want to remind all the parents once again, try your best to keep your eye on your child. You know, I know anything can happen. And I, and I pray for the family of this, this little girl. Um, not, yeah, they did catch that dude, that FedEx driver. You know, they charged him with capital murder and aggravated kidnapping. And I pray he get what he deserved. Yes, I said it. I don't have no sympathy for that at all because I keep telling people, this is why I do these videos, everybody's not human. See, you see the Holy Spirit and then you see the evil spirit. If you had the Holy Spirit, there is no way the Holy Spirit would, would let you murder a child, rape a child. That ain't even of the Holy Spirit. But keep in mind, and I hate to say this, it's going to get worse. 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 How will you protect your family? How? Ain't nothing wrong with praying. But you better put some actions with your prayer. Ain't nothing wrong with relying on the Holy Spirit. But if the Holy Spirit shows you <laughs> the war side of the Holy Spirit, where is your war side at? And let me hit you with something, Ecclesiastes chapter 3, and I'll be done with this video. There's a time to make war, 
and a time to make peace. I ain't never seen nobody try to go to war without weapons. You telling me you gonna go to war without your guns? And I'm gonna let you in on something else. You don't bring no knife to no gunfight. I'll leave on that. Shalom.